Hi hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome to the Constantin Demo. Constantin is a sprite-based horror game that features full voice acting, a happy couple, and spooky stuff that begins to, well, haunt them. A promise once made, it is a debt unpaid. We thought that words were for free, but everything has its own fee. One day wreathed in a grain of dust, your golden oak suffocating in rust. Can you keep it? Do you guarantee? We are mere humans, you and me. That was a cool opening. Look, Bernard. video game playing sprites. What? Don't you what me? I've been calling you all day. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. What do you mean with busy? You've been playing that junk all day long. Could you at least pause it for a moment and make yourself useful? It's an online game, honey. You can't just pause it whenever you want. Mom, it's an online game! Can finish this quest, okay? Can't pause it! Can't say because I'm lagging all the time. Maybe an hour or so? Ah, <sighs> an hour! How old these dudes? Now that I've pooed these noobs, time to go help her. Let's see, menu's kinda nice. So far stylish, and the voice acting is fine. Video games being a second love. Look, he has an actual PS Triple. PS Triple Slim to be exact. Sprint animation. I'm done, so how can I hit? I am also done. With you, that is. It was just a video game. Calm down. I asked you two hours ago to help me. Get out of here. You'll just mess up the kitchen again. Fine, I'll go poon some more noobs. Wasn't I supposed to repair the dishwasher? I did that already. You did? That's amazing. Oh, nice one. I know. I am amazing for marrying a man that tries to wash his shoes in the dishwasher! It worked well for that guy in the video, though. I can't believe this. He clearly said not to try this at home. Oh. Seems like I missed that part. Are you mad at me now? Oh no. I feel absolutely fantastic after cleaning everything back and forth, taking care of our cat, watering the backyard, and vomiting a few times in the process. And that is not... Let me just warn you, that was a very important game I was playing. If I didn't beat that guy, he was going to talk bad about me online. And I can't let that happen. At least I did the grocery shopping. I doubt this will be enough to defend myself with. Yeah, you bought papayas instead of potatoes. Upgrade to me. Hey, that one wasn't my fault. Your handwriting isn't the best. Well, excuse me for having such bad handwriting. <sighs> Just get out of here. You're really testing my patience. <sighs> Fine. I'll just go outside for a walk until you miss me. That won't happen. Didn't you want to go out? Didn't you want to go out? Didn't you want to go out? No. Anyway, I'm satisfied enough with that. Let's go look around. That is a very big flat screen TV. In fact... That's weird. Is this mask just a giant red herring? Or is it THE mask? Oh, it's a save point. Okay, so it's not just a... reference or anything. It actually fits into the whole doppelganger thing this game is gonna have. It looks like. Look, a cat. Boy, he's got a big house, a big flat screen TV. 
Video games? A cat? And a peen tree. Living the dream. I'll take up upstairs real quick because I'm the type of person who likes to investigate everything. Gives me the lay of the house. I take it you're the type who has a social network page that's listen to books. Read? I don't read. Well, nothing out of the ordinary up here, really. Inspired to draw. And I'll take my deviant art. It's a ring. So there is some choice. I wonder if there is multiple endings to this demo. Seems we have a swan problem. Mankind's natural killer. Can't go that way. Can't go that way, so we came away. Looking for just the ring. Hopefully, she likes it and doesn't that question was fast. it. Did you forget something? Uh, actually, yes. I forgot that I wanted to give you something. Oh? Give me your hand. Renor, please. I don't have time for your stupid games. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> and that's why I need you to stretch out your hand. Ah, fine. A ring? Oh, wow. It looks so pretty. Did I buy your favor yet? Oh. Am I forgiven for playing video games? Crap! It doesn't fit. I'm so sorry. It was the last one they had in the store, and I knew you loved this color, so I bought it without thinking. It's, uh, it's fine. Really. At least you tried. I can still wear it on my pinky finger. I was wondering why you spent so much money on the groceries this time, but now I see. Yeah. I actually ended up buying a lot of snacks, but... She doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Thank you. You make me really happy. Dear Lord! Renor, you reek! Now that you mention it, I totally forgot to take a bath today. Or yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. Living the dream. I get it already. Now go take a bath until I prepare dinner, okay? Okay. I'll be back in a flash. No, please take your time. What up that save point? Cause that seemed like a major decision. Selling a mysterious ring on eBay. Or giving it to your significant other. That's, that's a life-changing choice right there. I'm naked, don't have any clothes on, no, I'm naked, I'm naked today. I'm glad someone else shares my hobbies. Delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. But well, please don't talk with your mouth full. Mm-hmm. Honey, today's the 11th of July, right? 
It is. Oh, crap. I totally forgot to finish my commission. Ugh, the deadline's next week. Yeah, time goes by so fast. I was joking about the DeviantArt thing, but I guess he does have a DeviantArt. I can't believe that tomorrow is going to be a full year since we moved in here together. Or a Templar. Oh, it's really going to be a year, huh? This place is quiet and all, but I feel bad that we had to move because of me. You even had a nice job in that design studio. Are you kidding? I hated my co-workers with a burning passion. They were all so arrogant and only wanted to make use of people. That aside, why should you feel bad? I'm just glad that you got better. Right, my health condition. Renor, honestly, don't you think this house is a bit too big for just the two of us? We managed to get by the last winter somehow, but I think the expenses this year are going to be outrageous. You know, I was actually wondering that. You have a very big and nice house. First of all, you shouldn't worry so much about expenses. I'll have a few commissions coming at the end of this month. And in August, your history research book will be published. <laughs> what do you mean, just the two of us? You're already a month pregnant, and this is just the first one. Hey, you're right. The winter is still far away. So how about a picnic? To celebrate the nice weather and all? Oh god, what am I even saying? Celebrate nice weather? She's so easily embarrassed that I almost feel bad for teasing her. Almost. Um... Whatever, count me in. Phew, nice save. Then, what would you like me to cook for tomorrow? Something that's easy to make. How about sandwiches so I can help you out? It is the only thing I can make after all. You say that, but you can probably cook well if you wanted to. I don't know. I'm too lazy to try. Let's just stick with sandwiches. Too lazy playing video games. <laughs> Fine with me. Ah, thanks for the food. Is everything all right? Toilet, toilet, toilet! Oh god, you are gross! Perhaps I'll see a song with this one too. Ah, what a shame. Ooh, that one took me a while. Man, I feel 10 kilograms lighter. Hmm. I guess she's up in the uh, bedroom. Well, my main character's not sleepy yet. Only one thing to do. Go play video games up until the early mornings. So we have to feed the cat. This is pretty normal life so far. Feeding your pet cat. Having the runs, singing in the shower. Bartha, I've got some yummy fish for you. You don't seem hungry at all. Alona probably fed you. If it weren't for her, you'd be starved by now. I know, I'm sorry. Huh? Triple A voice acting Is from the cat. There? Just the wind, I guess. MVP of the cast. I should go get some sleep. I'm starting to hear things. Good night, Bartha. Mm, uh, I think my save point just blinked. After closing my eyes, I didn't manage to fall asleep until very late. I had chills running down my spine, even though the bed sheets were supposed to wrap my body in heat. As the sound of the clocks ticking and Alona's breathing became slowly distant, the only thing that replayed through my head was the whisper I heard before. 
find me. Was it really that? I wonder. Oh, oh. Looks like I slept in. Looks like you need to get changed. Oh, Al Luna already woke up. You think he smelled before? I'm assuming you've been wearing that same outfit for five days. You know, I haven't investigated this computer yet. He won't even let me say. He just go prepare for the picnic. In a scene described by one of the investigators, a lady was found dead and two children went missing. Miss Adona Lipa, owner of the Linda Orphanage built almost 20 years ago in the outskirts of Puroya, was found in her nightgown lying on the floor of her office, stabbed 17 times from the back. The murder weapon was apparently a knife which the killer took from the kitchen to commit the crime. Several body parts, including vital organs, were stabbed repeatedly in an aggressive manner, resulting in extreme blood loss. The body has been dead for about 12 hours and was discovered this morning by the orphans, who immediately contacted the police. The two children that have gone missing are both female and are believed to have disappeared around the same time the murder had happened. The missing girls are Trinka Fasliu, 14, blue eyes, black hair, with a purple fringe, and was last seen wearing a white tank top with black leggings. Mona Limani, age 7, brown eyes, short blonde hair, and was wearing a pink-footed pajama as last seen by her friends. While the police admits that they have no suspects for the murder, they believe this case to be connected to the other disappearances that happened throughout the last years in the village of Puroya. None of the bodies have been found. There is a total of 105 people, including 89 women and 16 men, that went missing in the past 10 years. The highest number of disappearances happened four years ago, when the police thought that they had finally caught the kidnapper, who was supposedly... Why'd you turn it off? No one wants to listen to that guy. He's a real prick. I've heard enough. Exactly. I never knew this village had such a bad reputation. Who would do such a thing? It doesn't make any sense. We shouldn't pay too much attention to this sort of stuff. The news never had anything good to report anyway. I didn't even know that an orphanage existed in the outskirts of this village. I've never seen it before. Me neither. This place is pretty dead though. I wonder if it can even be called a village anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Weren't we supposed to have a picnic? Let's go now. Ah, uh, yes. I already made the sandwiches ready. You'll just have to find the basket. I don't know where it went. Oh, okay. It's in the car, I think. I'll just go and... Wait. Where's my car key? Have you seen my key? Such a normal household. Honestly, Renor, I can't keep track of all of your things. <sighs> One day it's the socks, the other your pants, and now it's the key. It's like I'm playing The Sims. No reason to get mad. I'll find it myself. I'm really playing an average morning simulator. No, let me help. I'll search here. You go somewhere else. All right. You don't actually want to read this. Alphabetical order. Huh. I suppose alphabetical order isn't bad. But then you have a series where they have subtitles and whatnot, or they change the name over the span. And I wouldn't want to mix up different series that way. So I personally prefer uh, basically putting my games in the overall theming. Like cute games in one area, RPGs in another, and so on. I suppose if I had a huge collection. Maybe the keys are in the car. Something silly like that. Butterflies, where are my keys? Guide me, spiritual butterflies. Take me back to my keys. And the missing sock. And those reports I was supposed to file so long ago that 
seemingly have disappeared. And then my amp. Oh, the first place I actually do check, they're right there. Oh, I see. Alright, picnic basket. Congratulations, you managed to completely not be worthless. New objective, go enjoy a picnic. Secondary uh, objective, don't get annoyed by bugs. These sandwiches are really delicious. You should make them more often. Hmm. Alwana, are you listening to me? I'm trying to compliment you here. Alwana? Huh? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, the sandwiches. Thank you. Are you still thinking about what you heard on the news? Yeah. It's stuck in my head because the girls were so young and that woman. She was stabbed so many times, but I just. Honey, you shouldn't think too much about it. I know you're scared because it happened nearby, but I'm here. I guarantee I will protect you with all I have. No, the, the problem is. The police are doing their best to solve this case. So you shouldn't worry. Those girls will probably be found soon. The problem here is that I am not concerned about these victims at all! So? What? I don't understand. The only thing that makes me worried is that I am losing my compassion towards people other than you. All I was thinking was, thank God this didn't happen to us. Nothing else. No pity, no remorse, not anything except for relief. That's actually pretty common. You can't be expected to feel compassionate for every person out there that you've never met. This is just how you normally feel when you have a family of your own. No, this is not normal. This is not how I usually am. What's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you. I'm afraid to lose you. Calm down. I'm not going anywhere. I am also afraid that... that I will disappear and... and leave you alone. I don't want that anymore. What is she talking about? I won't let that happen. Don't worry. Is this... Is this how you normally are, or is this that ring talking? I love you, idiot. I know. I love you too. It's okay. Everything will be alright. So I said, but in reality, I didn't know how else to comfort her. I didn't know what was going on in her head. I felt like I didn't know anything. Was it because of mood swings? I don't know that either. She just kept holding on to me for another 20 minutes. Occasionally little sniffs being heard as she buried her face into my chest. I could feel her heartbeat changing slowly and her breathing pattern normalizing the tighter I embraced her. It seems all I could offer was something tangible to make her feel secure and that was enough for her. No problem. Everything okay with me? Maybe there's some kind of a shadow thing going on. She could just be an emotional person too. Hard for me to tell. We did give her that ring. I don't know if it changed the story at all. Oh, 
But usually, from her initial first appearance of her, she seemed kind of tough. And maybe the ring brought out her other emotions, kind of. And when I bring out my other emotions, it'll be like a psycho killer. I have two personalities. Complete angel and dangerous psychopath. Why am I feeling so restless? What is it that separates me from my usual tranquility? My head feels heavy. My thoughts are spinning in a seemingly endless spiral. It's as if the right of dreaming was taken away from me. The feeling of anxiety is creeping from outside, through my nostrils. It's consuming my body slowly, as if I'm purposely inhaling filth. While the nape of my neck responds to it correctly by being covered in cold sweat pearls. I have to open my eyes, but my body is reluctant to this request. Open your eyes, you idiot. You're just in some weird stage of sleep. Open your eyes, because Alona will be right there. Right beside you. Open your eyes. This is a very similar conversation I've had in my dreams before. <sighs> Woke up like that, too. It's the middle of the night. <sighs> and I'm okay. But Alona's still not here. What is she doing? I suppose they're actually called night terrors. Alona? Is that you? Comfort me, creepy mask. I need to use your- oh, they yeah, no, brought me out here. What are you doing still up? It's past midnight. You should come to bed. What the- Come back! What has gotten into her? Let's see how that save point. Fog. This isn't good news. Oh, oh yeah, that's really bad news. Are you kidding me? Help! I can't get out of here! Nothing here. Oh. Get yourself together, Renor. It's no time to get tricked by your own mind. I have to find Alona before something happens to her. Before things get any more crazier. <laughs> Don't worry. You're just seeing things. These are just footprints left by some wild animal that ate a bunch of grapes and had too much fun in this one spot. And you're just seeing, you know, some fog that just happened to be shaped like a human person walk over that same exact one. And that's just our old friend Bigfoot. What? No, no. No, uh, apparently it was actually a literal monster. 